morning, Trainiacs. It is uh, the day after Half Ironman Puerto Rico. So I just went for a little recovery swim. Get the blood flowing a little bit, work out all the knots and niggles that are just accumulating everywhere and slowly turning me into a cinder block. It was great. This morning, NTK had a very exciting morning that she's gonna show you right about now. Hey, hon. Oh, hi. So, thanks to excellent Wi-Fi here at the hotel, we weren't able to send the footage of the race back to Winnipeg so that Mel could edit the video. So I edited the video this morning while I was doing that, and TK went and did the Iron Man Foundation charity event. Yeah. What happened? It was awesome. Uh, they, there is a hundred year old school that was decimated by Hurricane Maria a couple years ago, no funds to rebuild. So about 70 Ironman athletes and Sherpas, mostly athletes, went to essentially help clean up the site, which much had not been cleaned up, and start to rebuild it, and it was amazing. Came on the bus this morning with over 50 volunteers. We are just happy to have you here. Get ready to work. Today we are at our Ironman 70.3 Puerto Rico service project. It's part of our Hurricane Maria recovery initiative. When disaster strikes, we call upon our Ironman family around the world to support our relief efforts. So hundreds of thousands of dollars were raised and athletes come to Puerto Rico and we give them this opportunity to actually have a hands-on tangible experience where they can give back. And so today we're partnering with multiple organizations uh, here in Puerto Rico, the Buena Vibra Foundation, Acer and La Maraña. And they have brought us to an old school. It's 100 years old. It's called uh, Carlos Conde Marin. You can probably see the sign behind me. Uh, this school was condemned shortly after Hurricane Maria. And these organizations are transforming it into a community center. Uh, one of our partners from La Maraña said, they hope that this community center will really be a beacon of hope for the community that while they're struggling, they're still struggling. And I think that's one of the most exciting things about being here is that um, in disaster recovery, you, uh, when the new cycle passes, you don't know that there are still families here who have blue tarps for roofs, that they don't have power yet, that some of them don't have their water restored. And so this is an opportunity for us to lead in, in our partner's words, a revolution of inspiration that um, there are other communities who can do you know, work like this and we just feel really privileged to have this opportunity. We are the charitable arm of Ironman and it's our role to come together as a community to change people's lives. Lots of times people ask, what is the Ironman Foundation and, and you know, I'm racing and spending money on race registration. Well, our, our mantra is to race for more. So when you race with the Ironman Foundation or you make a contribution to the Ironman Foundation, you're helping with projects like this or you're helping fund the $1.8 million of grant funding that we give to over 1,500 organizations in 64 different race communities annually. The for amount of money they're giving away and giving back to communities in all the places that they hold race and other places is incredible and I actually talked to one of the local women who lives in the community who was also helping out uh, about how she felt about all these Ironman folks being there and helping. So when they arrived and everybody together very like pump it was like wow it was like seeing a dreams coming through you know this all these years has been fighting a lot to just have uh, enough resource to rebuild this place and this um, contribution is make like a big difference. They are doing good stuff in triathlon and the world. Right, and so the 70 or so people who were there volunteering, like I said, many of them actually raced yesterday. And I asked one of the athletes how, you know, how it felt to be doing all this hard labor, and it was hard labor uh, a day after racing in 70.3. I was amazed when I first came here that this is technically a U.S. territory, and our quality of life is so much better than theirs. And yet we all refer to this as paradise. And I, 
I wanted to help improve it. I mean, here we are two years after this hurricane and this school hasn't even been cleaned up because they just don't have the transportation. I mean, even when you're in the city, they're still trying to clean up because there's not enough trucks, there's not enough manpower, they can't get the resources. It makes the people just feel overwhelmed and stuck in sort of a helpless situation. So I hope, you know, I got to come here and race. I'm blessed that I have my health and I can do that. And to give back a little bit is easy enough to do. It, it's amazing if you get up and you start doing something the day after a race, you, you aren't as sore as if you lay around and do nothing. So I hope it helps, even if it's just a little. Kind of sorry that I missed that. It looked fun. I gotta go build up the bike. We gotta pack. We're gonna meet with some Trainiacs and friends of Team Trainiac later tonight, and uh, then we go. Home. Then we go home tomorrow. That I guess it was one of the best Trainiac meetups we've ever done. Frankly, because it wasn't really a meetup, it was like... Dinner with pals. Dinner with new pals. We got new pals all over the place. Mm -hmm. We had new pal Santiago, who helped out, like, arrange a lot of the things of getting us here. Uh, Angel. We had Ben Briu, who we made suffer in the pain cave back last September. Kin was there, associated wives and significant others. That one. That was good. That's, that's what I wanted Team Trainiac to be about. Because there's been more than enough videos of me talking to you. Frankly, you are an inanimate object. You are a microphone fuzzy with a cracked wide angle lens. And you know what needs to happen? Things like what happened today. Kin and Ben, they race in the same race. Ben's wife volunteers at the race that they race in. Angel and Ben, new Instagram friends. That's the idea of Team Trainiac. And with an update that we're about to roll out, you're gonna be able to find Trainiac members in your local areas, in races that you're gonna be going to. It's gonna be awesome. Teamtrainiac.com, and we have to leave here in seven and a half hours. What do you say, NTK? I don't want to get up that early. Nobody wants to get up that early. All right. Later, Trainiacs. Good day. Good race. Good trip.